The Isaiah Factor Uncensored starts right now. And welcome to The Factor on Sinsu. Thanks for joining us tonight. We begin with a complicated issue in the New Jersey jail system. A transgender female inmate has been moved to a men's prison after impregnating two other biological female inmates. We're talking about Demi Moore, or Demi Minor rather. <laughs> Don't want to make that mistake. Demi Minor. She was born male but she started her transition as a woman in 2020. Minor has been blogging about her experience in the men's facility. She says she suffered physical and psychological abuse despite her own actions of getting women pregnant in the female facility. I just wanted you to see the environment. So they put five of us in here and um, it's, I'm just being patient right now. So it's, it's difficult, it's frustrating. Um, I just wanted you to see what's going on. Now in New Jersey, you have the opportunity as an inmate to decide where you go if you identify as a female, even though he clearly looked like a male there, but that's in the Jersey prison system. Let's get to our guests from both sides of the fence who both agree no one with a penis should be housed with females behind bars, but then my guests split sharply and quickly after that. Take a look. Is there a danger in allowing people to decide their gender in the prison system when there is no paperwork or history to prove it? Your thoughts on that, Jane? My personal thoughts on this subject are if you have not gone through the entire gender reassignment surgery, I'm not, I've never heard of people going to the prison of their choice. You know what I'm saying? It happens in New Jersey, and that's the reality Apparently there. Apparently it does. Apparently it does, but I, I am of the belief that if you still have a penis, then you belong in a men's prison, even if it's in a protected unit. But I don't feel like you belong in a female population where this sort of thing can and will happen. Jamie, does this hurt your movement when people hear stories like this, someone who says they are transgender female and then goes into a prison and get two females pregnant? Does that hurt the movement or those who are fighting for transgender rights around this country? Oh, it absolutely does. It absolutely does because it just, it feeds into the fears that people already have where trans people are concerned. They already fear that females, Safety is in at risk with if, if they're around a transgender woman. And so this situation just makes it look bad. It just does. There's no defending it. And Tex, that's what we had here in the city of Houston a few years back when the bathroom ordinance came up. This is the type of thing you guys were concerned about as conservatives out there. Uh, absolutely. And uh, I was very excited to be the tip of the spear on that and to do my part. Uh, obviously, Marinese Parker came after me. She didn't like me standing up for the real women and children of our city. But that's what it took was real men to stand up and be able to protect. Let me be crystal clear. What's happening right now is that the truth is advancing on the LGBTQ deception that was over our city here in Houston, all across Texas and all across America and all across the uh, globe. There's no such thing as a trans anything. There's no transgenders. There's only two. There's no trans woman. There's only a woman. Only a man can get a woman pregnant and only a woman can get pregnant. So all this confusion has all come about because of the Democrats writing these crazy laws and these policies. And now uh, it, it's, it's all being exposed. And uh, uh, Yahuwah, which is the Hebrew name for God, he hates pride. And it says right there in Proverbs 11 too, that when pride comes, then comes disgrace. And so this is why this community is saying, oh, this isn't making us look good. Because the bottom line is this, there's only two genders. What is right is right, and what is wrong is wrong. And these people are even evil, they're wicked, they're perverse, and this is what you get. You don't get anything good from it. So Excuse the Democrats me, agree hey, with you. Text, let's hear from Jamie really quick. Go sure. ahead, Jamie. 
I literally was in agreement about the fact that nobody with a penis should be in a woman's prison. I said that. But to turn around and to say that I don't exist. You do not. Me, you're I a man. Existing you this way for years. Once I get to you're a man. You I'm know not you're a man. man. Not in the All eyes of me. Tex, no. Tex, okay. one second. You can only hear one at a time. Hold on, Tex. Go ahead, Jamie. If you find a part of me that's a man, you know what you can do with it. That's that's what I have to say about that, because there is no part of me left that is was ever. I wasn't born a man. I was born an infant and I grew into a girl who grew into a woman. And whether you like that or not, that's just the fact of the matter. Okay. You've been deceived. And that's the fact of the matter. You are a man. And so this is the craziness that I'm talking about. We let these people out of the closet and everything's getting crazy. Let what we anything. all need to do is we need to return everybody back to their closets, lock the door, and throw away the key. What do you think of that? Could you be more prejudiced? It has nothing to do with not being prejudiced. It's oh, called it being what is right is right, what is good is no. good, and evil is evil. You live a very evil, wicked, and perverse lifestyle, and the you evidence is before life. all the viewers. All the viewers are looking at you right now. Tens of millions of people are looking at you, and they're saying, mm -hmm. that dude is a man. They're not saying that you're a girl. I hate to, you know, bust your bubble, but that's reality. Live in the real world. Live in the real world. I'm a comedian. I'm not evil. I'm a comedian. I'm not evil. First of all, okay? I'm not coming on here and calling you names and telling you what you are or not. That's on you to define yourself with. But you the are not going to sit here and tell me One second, Tex. One second, Tex. Give her a chance to You're respond. You're not going to sit here and tell me what I am or am not. I know who and what I am, and you do not define me, sir, nor okay. does your God or anyone else. I define me. In this world, I define me. Sure. So the whole pride movement within the LGBTQ community is that you guys are so full of pride and, and you guys are sitting there puffing yourself up. You're so arrogant and you make everything being offensive and repulsive and, and that you're superior amongst all of us that are normal. And that is wrong. That's full of pride. And that is evil. It is not good. And that is why the LGBTQ community is being exposed, that all the perversion is being shown. And this is why we get crazy news stories like this. This is why we get men sitting there trying to pretend to be uh, a, a woman and playing in a basketball like a Brittany, a Granner, who's actually a guy, it's not a woman. You, you get these people out that's, here that's jumping not in the pool. Tex, Tex, that's not accurate. I'm not going to let you just go wild with misinformation here. Brittany Griner is a female. The deception ah. is what's being exposed. And so much so, in this case right here in prison, it's being exposed. It's all in due time. It's all in due time. All righty. Well, we want to thank you guys for joining us here on The Factor Uncensored. We appreciate you.